Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. Good morning. This is Saturday morning, the something of March 2018. And we're about four or five miles from Carlsbad Caverns. And I thought I'd drive over there and kind of show you the outside of it. You can't go, you can't do a video inside. I don't even think they'll let you take pictures. Uh, they might now, they didn't years ago. But uh, it's up here, we'll go to a place called White's City. It's about 26 miles from Carlsbad and about 20 miles from where my campsite is approximately. Boondocking on BLM land. And uh, this of course is Saturday morning and the temperature right now is 68 degrees and it's 9.40 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm cruising along at 55. The speed limit is 70, but I'm in the slow lane, so everybody can just help themselves, okay? But yeah, this is kind of the barren West Texas, uh, southern New Mexico, and if you can see a big mountain off there to the right, you may not be able to see it too well in the camera, but if you can, that's the Guadalupe Mountains, and that's about, oh, 40 miles from where we are right now. When I go to my next campsite, I'll go right by Guadalupe Mountains and then to El Paso through Las Cruces and turn north to my next campsite, but that's not going to happen for a few days. So, why? Well, today's a nice day, tomorrow's a nice, well, tomorrow's not actually, tomorrow they're, they're going to have gale force winds in southern New Mexico, and you certainly don't want to be pulling an RV, a, a travel trailer, or driving a motorhome into that kind of wind you will get zero miles per gallon and it will drive you nuts. But on our way to Carlsbad Caverns, one of the, I, I don't know how popular Carlsbad Caverns is as a national park, but I'm sure it's ranked pretty high. But we should be getting really close and we should be starting to see some signs about uh, the shops and stuff. They do have a great uh, big gift shop and you can buy t-shirts for five bucks used to they're not they're worth every penny of it but it's a beautiful drive I mean uh, <clears throat> if you like high desert and barren wasteland okay if you're not into that then this is probably looks like the end of the world but it's a beautiful I love this you know it's a uh, my kind of place and I'll continue to camp in these kinds of places and just move slow and that's it man the key to a successful trip traveling for me is going slow taking short trips no hurry now I'm going to speed limit it's 55 see there uh, here we go we got Apache Canyon trading post up here on the right go trade with the Apaches if you want to they got a cold cherry cider for sale. That old place has been there for I can't tell you how many years. Uh, it says uh, Carlsbad Caverns National Park one quarter mile. Well that's not very far is it? It ain't. speed limit's 45 right up here but it's uh it, there's a little community here you can get gasoline and diesel but it's your last stop for 150 miles because the next stop if you're going west is uh is this the entrance i think so carlsbad caverns national park turn right okay you know, the way they got that arrow, you think there's a turn right here. There's not. It's down here at this intersection. Tourist Information Center. I, I may catch that on the way back and get me another map of New Mexico to keep in the truck. A current one, the one I have, is kind of falling apart. But here we go, guys. This is west on highway, New Mexico Highway number 7. Speed limit 30 and 5. They got all kind of shops here. Trucks and RV parking over there. RV check-in there. We're just going to keep going and see what happens. I think since I have a senior pass, I, at least I get in free. And if I do, I'll show you. See, they, you park your RVs there, and I guess you walk somewhere. 
they got a campground here, but it's not cheap. Well, you know, it is, it, it's, that's all relative. I shouldn't say that. The visitor center is seven miles from right here. How long have we been on this video? Six minutes, five minutes? Yeah, that'll work out perfect. Won't be too long, so we'll cruise along here at 35 and see what happens. This is mile zero is what it says, so we can start counting now. Carlsbad Caverns National Park. There's some people all the way from Texas. Good God am I. No hunting or collecting of any plants, animals, or minerals. See, if you have the concession for the no signs at parks, whether they're state, national, or whatever, you, you will have a booming business. Uh, RV vehicle camping prohibited. Uh, last ticket sold out of the mountain zone, mountain time zone. We know that. Speed limit 40. Well, I'm going to drive 35 because that's what I want to drive. Yeah, it's pretty hilly in here. And, you know, can you imagine the years ago when that cave was first discovered? Well, of course, the, the Native Americans, the Aborigine people, Aboriginal or the original people, found it and used it as a home for many, 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 many years. Winding through the, this, I'm sure this is part of the Guadalupe Mountains here. There is a garbage can that I will catch on the way out because I need to, to dump some garbage. And when you see those little bear-proof containers, uh, I'm always a little leery. There are black bear in here. There's no grizzlies for sure, <clears throat> unless they drifted down here in the last few years. The black bear are not really aggressive unless you somehow come between a mom and a cub, or, you know, no animal is, is aggressive <clears throat> unless they want something to eat, and that includes humans. Another garbage can. Remember Jonathan Winters when he did the, uh, I think it was the Glad, I mean it was Glad Trash Bags, I can't remember, it was some trash bag company, that plastic bags, and he they let him alone and he, they just told him to do something related to garbage and bags, and he, he relabeled garbage garbage. <laughs> he was a character, wasn't he? Scenic Drive, I guess y'all can see it pretty good. Okay, the speed limit's 40. It says exhibit ahead, but we don't want to see the exhibit. We want to see, we want to get up where the cave is and see what's happening. Now, those exhibits sometimes are fairly interesting, sometimes not. I can tell you right now, there's a lot of traffic on this road because there's four cars behind me right now. Said no passing for the next few miles. Well, folks, if you're coming to uh, <clears throat> Carlsbad Caverns, just remember you can't drive your RV into the park or into the where the cave is. I, I, they used to have. I, I don't know. Do they? I think they have shuttles. They might to come up by there and pick up people. Maybe they don't. So you'd have to unhook if you were pulling a travel trailer drive your vehicle down to see the cave, come back, hook up, and then go somewhere else. I'm going to slow down a little bit here. Why? Because I'm an absolutely... You know, when, you're, when, you, when you don't have anywhere to go, and there's no timetable to get there, why be in a hurry? Huh? Yo, you guys? Y'all? remember I went to Milwaukee back when I was a young man uh, and stayed at a, in a university dorm going to a school for a CPA firm and uh, went in the lunchroom the first day to have breakfast and, and this I heard this girl say, Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> I thought, what the hell does that mean? You know, 
And then I said something, I said, y'all, and then she cracked up. So I guess we were communicating at a different level. Because at, at lunch, it was in the summer, and at lunch I always asked for iced tea. Well, they didn't have iced anything. So <clears throat> after I'd been there the second week, we stayed there two weeks at this school. It was intensive, too. It was seven days a week, eight hours a day. And, uh, but, um, had three meals a day, which was pretty good. And the, the, the girls that were waiting on the table I was at somehow got together, brought me some iced tea for the last week at lunch. <laughs> that was pretty cute. Went in a drugstore and I said, y'all got any toothbrushes? He said, could you say that again? I said, yeah, y'all got any toothbrushes? Oh, yeah. How do we communicate in our own country somehow? Well, guys, we're getting there. 11 minutes into the video, approximately. Maybe I started a little early. I thought I, thought I would time it, because what I wanted to do was just arrive at the cave so you'd see the drive all the way and know what you're faced with if you ever come to Carlsbad Caverns. The first thing you know is you're going to have to unhook your tow vehicle if you're in a motor home, towing a vehicle. Or if you're a travel trailer, you're going to have to unhook. And that's good to know because you wouldn't have known that until you got here unless you checked. <clears throat> and there's one guy up there in front going slower than anybody. He's going 25 miles an hour. He decided he was in less of a hurry than I was. Well, that shows mile four of five, so we've got to be getting really close, don't we? I think. Got my green tea. I already had me some chocolate almonds. And life is good. I've been eating good. No problem. Exercising good. I walked this morning for about an hour. Did my stretches and all that stuff. Temperature is about 66. Well, 66 now. It was about... 58 when I did my walking, which was nice. Humidity is about 20%, I think, which they consider high out here, you know, which we consider very low in Central Texas where I live. But it will get down to the single digits here in the summer. I mean, you, you will evaporate before your own eyes. Yep, this is part of got to be the Guadalupe Mountains. You see that sign up there, that curved sign? You probably can't see it yet, but you'll see it. It looks like a fish hook. Those are the ones you hate when you're coming down an 8% grade, pulling a travel trailer, and you see one of those. Because that means you got to use all the brakes you got. I call them fish hooks. Some people call them switchbacks. Well, we just finished out the fish hook, and I'm in a parade here going to the cave. I guess I ought to start waving. You know, when you're in a parade, you're supposed to wave at your audience. So I'll start waving now. I wish I had some candy. I'd throw out some candy to the guys. Kids. Remember that? Did you ever go to parades when you were a kid? And they'd come by on the floats or whatever they called them, the trailers and stuff. And the people on them would throw candy to the crowd. Now that's really smart, mister. Got your kids up there on a ledge that drops down a thousand feet. Genius. Genius. Give him safety of the year award, okay? We will do that. He had three kids there and his wife. Maybe there's a message in that. He, that might have been well planned. There's another fish hook. <clears throat> Yep, we are in the Guadalupe Mountains for sure. Pretty dry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't remember it being this scenic. It's really pretty. I like these old desert mountains. <clears throat> but you can't camp out here. Well, you can. You can go to a place called Dog Canyon, but it's closed. That's part of Guadalupe uh, National Park or you know, National National. Guadalupe Mountains National Park. More trashless cans. All these old cars are from Texas except the one in front of me and I can't tell where it's from. Mm. 
Me and my arrow, straight up and narrow, wherever I go, every we go. Everyone knows it's me and my arrow. Yeah, oh, arrow's doing great. The batteries are okay. I'm down to, I'll have to charge a little bit today. We got overcast skies, so my AGM battery is at 12.55, which is about 85, 90%, and the lead acid battery this morning is at 12.59, which is the same level. So that's good, and we've been out here, well, we've been, we've been basically boondocking for about 10 or 11 days. Look at this speed limit sign. They're going to let you know it's 35 right there. Cute. That's a Christmas speed limit sign. Okay, the caverns are straight ahead. Maintenance is to the left. Go over and do some maintenance. So you guys are getting to see the real road to Carlsbad Caverns National Park near Carlsbad, Arizona. Arizona. God, I say that a lot. Carlsbad, New Mexico. Get it in your head, Rusty. New Mexico. Not old Mexico. Yeah, you can see all, boy, the parking lot is slammed, looks like. Uh, there, that's where I want to go, isn't it? Uh, no, that's for the disabled parking. Well, I'm kind of disabled. Well, yeah, I can't remember Arizona from New Mexico. I'd say that's a good start. But we take another fish hook, and this goes right into a parking lot. You know, they have a deal every evening where the, when the bats come out of the cave by the millions, man. I mean millions. The whole sky turns dark. We were here one time, year, I say we, me, years ago for the for the deal. I'm going 24, nan, 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 oh, 26, sorry. Yeah, it's a parade of cars behind me and the parking lot's full, so they must have a, a tour starting pretty soon. Look, what a beautiful overlook this is. Okie dokie, and let's see what the fire level is. The fire, it says fire danger today looks like high. I don't doubt that a bit. Well, guys, that's the parking lot for the visitor center and the gift shop. And uh, I may just do a separate video for that. We'll call the road, we'll call one the road to Carlsbad Caverns, and then we'll call one something else. No strollers in caverns. So all you parents of eight kids... Uh, be on notice that you're going to have to carry all eight of them on your hips. They got this parking lot closed. How about that, guys? Okay, uh, bat flight picnic area straight ahead. As soon as I can find a place to park, which may not happen. There's the Cars Bed Caverns. I think that's the visitor center on the left and the passenger drop off. You got five minutes to drop somebody off and get out of the way. Uh, I'm going to go this here way. Why? Because I know that that where they're going ain't going to happen. This parking lot is slammed. I would never have guessed it. This is March. I'm telling you, it is. I could park in one of those cripple spots here. Why? Because I got one of those. I had plantar fasciitis. No, yeah, fasciitis, whatever it is. It's a, a tendon thing. And I got one of those deals years ago. Is this a parking spot here? Yeah, these are parking spots. Well, why don't I just take one of these? Huh? Just park way out here. Let everybody steal crap out of my car. Uh, let's pull up here like this, see? And back in. Back in here like this, see? Like this. How about that? Let me come on back a little bit. Moan back! Moan back! Okay, whoa, horsey. Anyway, guys, from Long... Scratch that. Longhorn Caverns. Oh, boy, here we go. Rusty's doing good here. Anyway, from Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye-bye. Anything your little heart desires. Anytime your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to... 
Amazon products in the description of my video. Why? Because I'm an Amazon affiliate. I get a small commission and it does not cost you one single penny. So if it's not too inconvenient, do it. If it's a pain, don't worry about it at all. But having said that, drink plenty of water, take deep breaths in and out. That relieves stress, lowers your blood pressures, uh, stretch, walk, you know, keep your body in motion. What else? Uh, you know, uh, keep it, you know, keep moving. You know what I mean? Stay alive. Why not? It's better than being the other thing. Uh, what else? Uh, da, 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 da. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Ned or negative Nancy get right in the middle of your head. Just don't let them do it at all. Don't let them. I ain't kidding you. So having said that, guys, I'm going to go do a video now of the visitor center and whatever, uh, the shopping place or whatever. Anyway, so enjoy your day. This is a Saturday. Adios. Bye-bye.